All right, Keith, as I was getting my all SEC first team honors down to show you, I dropped it and I broke it, which would be really unfortunate if I didn't have more of those, but lucky for me, I do. So let's go through it. SEC title, uh, second in the country. This is my SEC Community Service Leader of the Year award, which actually got me a lot of money. Oh, another SEC title, uh, an NCAA trophy. Oh, look, SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year. Believe it or not, I'm pretty smart. Another SEC title, another NCAA trophy. Oh, that's when we won an SEC championship as a team. Some more SEC honors. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> that's when I broke the 200 butterfly record, uh, the SEC record, which I still hold, making me one of the fastest Americans of all time. And so, Keith, I would be really sad if I broke this trying to prove a point to an old man who can't even seem to keep a job, but I've got more of these, so I'm not. Thanks, Keith. All right, guys, here's one of these things I want to talk about when it comes to the Riley Gaines thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Uh, I know some people are going to be like, oh, man, she totally burned him and everything, and I would agree. I would agree that she burned him. You know, she she pretty much showed off all her trophies. Here's the thing, um, and this is something that maybe y'all agree with me or don't agree with me on it, but this is something I try not to do in my normal life. Um, and I'm not saying I'm successful at it. I could obviously do what Riley Gaines did if I had that many trophies, so I'm not knocking her. <clears throat> what I try not to do, though, in this world is to be prove my awards or prove my things and stuff, you know, and I know I've done it and I'm not sitting here to trying to say I, I haven't, but I try my best these days not to do that kind of stuff because I just want to talk about the, the bad things that comes with that. She's trying to prove herself to somebody who probably already knows that she's super successful and it doesn't, to me, it doesn't really, you don't really need to show off that stuff. You don't really need to prove to us because a lot of us know that you're a great swimmer and even if people are saying you're a trash swimmer, right? Who cares? At the end of the day, who cares? You're on the bigger and better things. You're trying to be an advocate for women. Um, I think it does mean a lot for her to be able to show off that stuff because she wasn't a great swimmer. She, her voice wouldn't be as powerful. Uh, but at this point, she doesn't have to do it to somebody who's not platforming her or doing anything for her. Anybody who would watch a video on her would know who she is now. Um, but I understand if in the beginning, right, let's say if I was... Um, Let's say if you were interviewing me for the very first time, it would be important to lift off my accolades. So when I do start talking about stuff, you know what I'm talking about. But for me personally, like I understand if I get the YouTube, if I ever got the YouTube plaque, which probably won't happen. But if I ever got a YouTube plaque, the silver, gold or whatever, um, I think they got all the way up to uh, what, 20 million. I'm never going to get that. But if I was to ever get to 100,000 to get some kind of plaque, you, it might, I might put it in the back, but you'll probably never see it. You know, it'll just be back there. Um, but I'm probably not going to display it unless I have to. Um, but I would just put it back there. It'd probably be right behind my head. As you can see, I don't, you know, it's to me, it's just be a decorational piece, but it wouldn't be to prove anything to anybody. Cause at this point in my life, and this is just me personally, I don't care about the accolades as much. I'm really just trying to do my very best. Now there's stuff that I'd be proud of. Like if I was working for a certain company and I was doing a certain thing, I would be proud of that. Like if I like if I was working, let's say, I don't think I'll ever get on the Daily Wire or anything like that. Or some kind of company like da Daily Wire, Prager U, uh, something like that. I would be happy to have that job. I'd be proud of what I'm doing. I would enjoy and be grateful for the platform. But would I ever get out if I got any awards for the kind of stuff for being on that show or being 20 years from now, I'd be like, oh, Trey was number one, blah, 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 blah. No, no. I'm just to the point in my life where that stuff doesn't matter to me. I really just want to help people. So if anybody calls me out and says I'm a trash YouTuber, I'll let them have it. This is one thing I'll have, I, I do remember Ethan Klein doing before he became whatever he is now. I remember at one time, uh, Trisha Potatoes came on the Ethan Klein show, and she said, I think you're broke. And he looks at her, he goes, you think I'm broke? And she says, yeah, I don't think you have any money. And he goes, Okay. That's what I want to be able to do. You know, not saying that about money, but if anybody ever questions um, if I'm good at what I do or anything like that, I'll be like, all right. I mean, if you don't think I'm good, that's fine. Because at the end of the day, to me, man, this stuff doesn't really mean anything. At the end of the day, man, my only real goal in this life, and I've told you many a times, is just to get to the people, um, help as many people as I can, um, try to straighten up my life as much as I can but my main goal is just to show you guys what God can do in your life God's grace God's love that's my only objective and then when I'm gone I'm gone I don't really care how many accolades I get in this world that doesn't mean I'm not gonna give my best 
That doesn't mean I'm not going to try as hard as I can. That doesn't mean I'm going to keep doing better with production, keep working on my health. All that stuff matters. But at the same time, I'm not going to, like, put it back in y'all's face. If I ever lose all this weight, I'm not going to be like, oh, but, but I lost 250. I'll just be like, you know, I got healthy. You know, I don't really care if you think that I got there, if you think I did it by surgery, if you think I cheated my way there. I don't care to me. Only way I'll ever defend myself in certain things is if I get defamed and I feel like it's uh, not true and it's devastating to my career, my platform. But if somebody says something about me, such as this, as we know, Rally Gangs has been in interviews and stuff, so we know how great she is. I don't feel like she had to go and say, hey, here's all my awards. Here's all my trophies. Just to let you know, you goofball. She said it herself. She said it was the man who couldn't get a job. So you ain't got to prove yourself. But hey, who am I? You know, who am I? I ain't got no trophies. I ain't got nothing in the case. I ain't got nothing back there. So who am I to say these kind of things? But let me know what you think. Do you think if you somebody called you out, you'd be like, well, I got 100,000 subscribers. I have over half a billion views on my YouTube channel. I'm letting you know that I am a somebody. So let's not get it twisted. I was number one tumor, uh, number one YouTuber. I got a Shreemies Award, which I don't think is something that anybody should ever act like matters. But... <laughs> No offense to those people who get those streaming awards, but to me, that's just, that's just a, to me, it's, it's not that special because we already know who's going to get the awards and it's not, and everybody kind of hates the awards and it's kind of like they gave it to somebody who I'm not going to mention. It's like, even then this year at the streaming awards, when I saw this individual get an award, I'm like, oh, this whole thing is a joke. So not to say this anything towards Riley, that's a completely different rant, but let me know what you would think. Would you... Tell people you got an award. Would you tell people, oh, man, I'm making it. I'm banking, baby. Oh, yeah, I got all these awards. Or would you just walk away? But I'm not about to even entertain this fool because that's something that matter. I remember one time Craig, when he was talking about his Grammys, he said he put it in the closet. It was just like, I mean, yeah, I got a Grammy. Thank you. You could say Grammy award winning Craig, but at the end of the day, it's like, that's for you. That's for you to give me accreditation and accolades. But to me, oh, I just put that in the closet. I don't even look at it. So, you know, let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.